right um, today we'll be discussing about our first lab program uh, where in the first lab program we'll uh, accept a val an expression and check whether the expression is valid or not and um, we also count the number of operators and operands in a given expression and we'll let the user know how many operators and how many operands we have in a given statement so first things first um, if the Lex and Yak packages are not present, use uh, sudo get install um, code, install your Lex and the Yak packages. And by default, Vim um, editor might not be there. You also need to install the Vim uh, editor packages also. And um, yeah, let's start with the programming. So first thing is create a directory say as laboratory or any name which you can get it and uh, move towards or get it to that lab. So use the VIM editor to open the program which you are looking for. So we have the lab here and uh, yeah so first thing is as it's a lex program um, lex program has one property of starting with the okay. so it needs to start with the open um, yeah anyhow it is a definition section so include hash include standard ivo dot h this is about the standard input output header file and ultimately we need a variable to keep account track uh, for the variable initialize it to zero and I have some operator which I'll be using and uh, identifier to keep track of it and uh, I need another to keep track of the uh, brackets so this is about the variable definition and I also need a flag variable to check whether the this is valid or not so okay if we need any more variables we'll straight away we can install I mean we can use it so once the definition section is done next we go for the rule and giving the method for the rule is the identifier so identifier should start from alphabets and it can repeat for a number of times and um, again it can start from a number or small case numbers or capital case numbers and uh, it can repeat for a number of times so as we know that star is for repeating of uh, value for a number of times so if this particular case is satisfied then i increment uh, identifier and i straight away print that uh, now we have an identifier so we just say that we need to display the identifier so i say that identifier is whatever the selected uh, value so later we just echo it and we are closing it so this is about the first regular expression and um, this is about the identifier next thing is about the operator so there might be cases that we might encounter plus um, or it can be minus or it can be a multiplication or it can be a division symbol or uh, it can also be a equal to so that it comes under a operator if that is the case you increment 
uh, operator and now you need to display the what type of operator it has been selected so for that to happen you need to just print printf saying that now it is operator which has been selected and it is to print which operator it is so we are echoing it so these are the two rules for example we we can also have a condition where uh, open braces can open brackets can also be there and close brackets can also be there so we need to give the expression for that also the the regular expression so if it is a open bracket so you increment and if it is a close brackets you straight away decrement the value of v so always see to that regular expression after we need to have a small um, space and we decrement it all right so this is about the end of my rule section so next comes our mm, okay so there might be cases that we might also encounter uh, a semicolon or any other rule so if that is the case we also need to give uh, another case so if it is a semicolon what is that i need to do is I need to give a flag equal to 1. So this is explaining us that if uh, the flag value, if it is uh, 1, that means that it is a um, invalid expression. So if in case a user gives anything apart from this, anything apart from this, so if it is a single character or it is a new character then we don't do anything right even that particular um, rule is also included the next thing is about the main method so in main method first thing is I have to let the user enter the statement so enter the statement or it's an expression expression right so once you specify that it's an expression so we need a y by x program so that it starts accumulating the values so once it gets the values um, once we stop or once we specify that this is the end of the input um, the next thing is it needs to calculate whether it is a valid expression or not so for that we need to look into some conditions here first condition is my operator should always be one more than that of the identifier so that's my first uh, rule and apart from this my uh, the number of variable I mean the brackets that is V should be equal to zero and apart from this flag should also be equal to so if this is the case then we say that <coughs> the expression is valid right so you can print the statement that expression is valid so print f the given expression is valid so apart from that you can also specify that I have uh, the number of identifiers are percentage D alright so percentage D what does it say it's number of identifiers so I'll display the identifier vari uh, variable so next thing is printf I need to display the the number of the number of operators the number of operators are so percentage D and uh, operators of 
okay so if this condition is false we straight away print that the given expression is invalid okay so close the bracket so this is about the regular expression which identifies whether the given uh, expression is valid or not so the next thing is save and quit so how do we save and quit here so press escape colon wq will save and quit so first thing is you need to check whether the program is free from errors or not so program one dot l so if it is having any errors it would have shown the next thing is uh, check whether we have the lex c equivalent code for the particular lex file so as i compiled with the lex here so it gave me c equivalent code now i need to compile the lex uh, c equivalent code so lex dot yy dot c linking the lex libraries so if there is any error it will show us if not it should now create us our a dot out file so calling a dot out in the sense dot front slash a dot out so it is giving us intern expression so a plus b is an expression so identifier a operator b and identifier b so the next thing is i am stopping that number of inputs so press control d so the given expression is valid the number of identifiers are two and the number of operators are one so this is for the test case of a valid expression so next thing is i am entering a invalid expression so a plus plus b so now a is an operator identifier plus is an operator plus is an operator and b is a identifier so control d letting it know that i am ending with the value i mean inputs so the output is the given expression is valid so i guess this is a very simple lex program and i hope you enjoyed the program so if you have any comments or any doubts kindly let me know in the comment section thank you guys